can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I could have answered that a little better. <laughs> And it's just all the answers it gave me kind of sucked. They weren't nice. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Uh. 
Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? Mm, a little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Oh, poor Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? That's what I figured. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Okay, he kind of did just slide there. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. 
If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Ooh, I found a battery. So off camera, I had to play through this again. And I found one of the batteries, and here's the second one. So now this should work. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. She put them in the wrong way, are you kidding me? <laughs> For a news reporter, she doesn't really know her technology. I gotta put the uh, antenna up. There we go. No, that's supposed to be on. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Hey, Carly. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Carly, notice your concern. Wow, there's a lot of things I didn't realize about this game, and that's that you need to talk to people. <laughs> I watch so many Let's Plays in series where they kind of just skip everything, and that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to people and get them to be on my side. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. Don't we have to go? Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? There we go. Yeah. Let's go. Ready to head out? Get down! Somber. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Yeah, it's boarded up. 
So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. You need to find a weapon. Let's keep looking around. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe there's something I can use? Right, this. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gap. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I know what he's gonna do. I've seen it in the movies. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Let me see the spark plug. Whistle inside these things turns carbon loose to tissue paper. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Did I kill that one that's Okay, I'll get this one then. That was awesome! <laughs> Do I have to kill that one? It's not gonna let me pass.
Oh. I can't do that. I can't do the whistle. I'll wait for him to get closer. Sweet. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no, no, no. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in are we now you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find doesn't she sound like yeah. chloe i don't want that That's it's weird. not christian please just leave me please go Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Oh, 
That's tough. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, gotta get them pills out of the pharmacy. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motorhead. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean... You guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. No! Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't?
That got a few of them to take notice. Then we have to do this. Oh, he'll let me know because the keys are out there. Distract those things carefully. I can't reach that brick. Yes, you can, Lee. <laughs> Come on. That's his new meme quote. It's I can't reach that brick. <laughs> Is that his brother? I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them. Oh, man. There we go. Holy crap! Run! That was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry.
time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know that. Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Hell yeah, Especially Kenny MVP. Go ahead. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances.
Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Maybe I messed up there. I don't know. I only did what I thought was right. I didn't want that girl to turn. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. <laughs> oh man, Clementine. Another yeah, deal with it. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? That dad gives me anxiety. <laughs> I don't like him. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Uh, 
hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the babies. Okay. Well, I to Herschel, you and 63%. Duck or Sean, you and 49% of players chose Duck. Wow, so people don't like Duck, huh? I only did that because I want to be on Kenny's side, because I know what happens in the future. Um, but I'm not going to spoil any of that, of course. That's going to be when you guys see. Side with Kenny, of course. Gave Irene the gun. Some people didn't give her the gun. I I might have made a mistake there, but I, I did what I thought was right. And what I thought was right was not letting her suffer the disease anymore. I thought that I, not letting her suffer would be good, so... I don't know. I don't know what people would do in that situation, but that's just what I did. Doug or Carly? 76% of players chose Carly. I chose Carly because she's very good with a gun and she knows how to use it. And I feel like that is very helpful in the apocalypse. I honestly felt like she did more than Doug could have done. So that's why I chose her. But also, of course, it's better if you can save both of them, not just one, but that's not how this game is, so. All right. That was good. That was a good first episode. <laughs> For you guys, it was three episodes, but that was pretty good. Am I just gonna sit through this? <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye! Uh, breaking my neck in my back. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm dead.